y'all and welcome to DG Outdoors. In today's video, I'm going to do a little challenge with myself. I wanted to do a 100 yard shot challenge with the Barra 1866 with open sights on my parents' property. The problem is, where I have to shoot is only about 45 to 55 yards. So I'm going to back up to 55 yards, try to shoot this target. My parents are leveling gravel in the driveway right now, so it might be a little, uh, a little noisy. But we're just going to try to have fun again. The Barra 1866, open sights only, shooting at this target that I'll show you guys here in a minute. And we're just going to try to have some fun shooting this gun. All right, guys, so here's the target I'll be shooting. I'd like to thank my friend Corey Taylor for the target. He works with me. He gave me a whole bundle of these things, and I promised him I'd give him a shout-out. He also gave me some mini shotgun shells that I plan on doing a review with with my 12-gauge here pretty soon. But I'd like to do this shooting challenge, so you all stay with me. All right, so I know you guys can't see the target from here, but it is way down there. And that's what it looks like from where I'm at. All right, guys, so I'm at 56 yards, loading up the BB. Gonna take the first shots. There's the first one. I'm only shooting uh, copperhead BBs out of here. I'm not really testing for accuracy. I wonder if I can even actually hit the target from here. Shot number three. It looks like they're going high. I can definitely make it back there. But you gotta cock it first or it won't hold air. And the target just fell over, so let me go reset this thing. Guys, this is either the third or fourth shot, I can't remember. It's kind of windy. So. Last shot. I'm going to see how I did. I don't know how well I'm doing because I can't see where the BBs are going at this distance. All right, guys, let's go check it out. All right, guys, so at that distance, I hit it once. Actually, twice. Hit one right up there in the corner, too. There's a little tiny hole up there in that corner. See it right there? But I watched those BBs go like this up into the air at that distance. So I'll try to do shooting a little bit closer. But I may have hit one. I actually hit one down here, too. Right down there in the corner. So I hit a target total of three out of five shots, which ain't too bad. But I watched a lot of those BBs either veer off like this or go straight up in the air. It is a little windy out here. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But trying to shoot open sights at this target from that far away, I could barely see where I was hitting or anything. All right, guys. So I moved up a little closer. I'm sitting at 44 yards now. At 56 yards, I could watch the copperhead BBs go like this and fly straight up into the air, which it's kind of windy out here. They can catch, you know, wind like that. And, you know, I couldn't really see where I was hitting. So we're gonna get closer, probably go to 30 yards after this and see how well I am at that distance.
There's my first shot. There we go. Gotta cock it first. I'm still getting used to how this gun shoots. I've only shot it once when I made that review for it. If you guys had uh, slammed in the last four or five days. At these distances, I don't know if these BBs are very uh, accurate, but they say a normal BB gun can shoot up to 329 yards. I don't know. That's what gave me the idea to do this video. Let's do one more shot and go check it out. But I can tell you at close distances, this gun is very accurate. There we go. Go check it out. All right guys, so I hit three more times. I hit one, two, Where's the third one? Three. Right there. And that was at 46 yards, I think, or 44 yards. We're going to move up to 30 yards and see how I do this time. And just keep shooting and having fun. All right, guys. Here I am at 30 yards. I keep moving up a little closer, trying to see if I can hit better when I'm closer. And maybe the BB won't take... Uh, the air current is so bad because a lot of those BBs you watch them shoot they'd either go like this or they'd go up you know and I don't know if that's an accuracy thing because I'm shooting with open sights I don't know I'm just out here trying to have fun make a challenge video for myself you guys want to know what range finder I'm using this is the Halo XL 450 range finder bought it on eBay for $49.99 normally these things are like 150 bucks brand new you can get a decent range finder at Walmart for like 69 70 80 bucks you know and these are a really good tool to have because I wanted to do a 100-yard shooting video, but I didn't have a 100 yards worth of yard to shoot. So I had to do a 56, and I'm kind of glad I did because if I can't hit it at 56, I sure as heck can't hit it at 100. So let's get to shooting again. Then I'm going to move up to 20, and then 15, and after that I'll uh, probably be done with this. All right, so here we go, loading it up for the next five shots. This gun only holds 50 BBs. It's a very loud gun. I said I'd take it. Squirrel hunting? Probably not. It is really loud. Here I am at 30 yards. Oh, yeah. Got to cock it first. The next time, dang man, alright, so the next time I come out here to do this, I'll probably bring some pellets in the same gun and maybe that'll make a difference on accuracy, who knows. I just knew in this video I wanted to see if I could hit it at 100 yards but ended up having to shoot it at 50. Cock and then pump or it won't hold air. It's a habit I'm going to have to break. I think this is the last shot. Or this will be my last shot at this distance. There we go. Keep dropping this thing out of my pocket. This was my replacement. I lost my... Uh, watch, watch out for all those willow tree branches. I lost my Summit one. I think it was a Summit one. Simmons. Simmons is the brand of the old range runner I have, and I can't find it anywhere. All right, guys. So I hit one over here, two up there in the neck with that. 
it is super windy out here and i wonder if that has a lot to do with it we're going to move up to 20 yards and then i'll say 15 and then that'll be the end of my uh shooting challenge all right guys so here i am at 21 yards loading the copperhead bbs i just range finded it so we know where i'm at move the hammer back that's the safety artillery hold boom dang it I can already tell you guys, this gun is pretty accurate out to 20 yards. If the wind drift doesn't catch the BB and bear it off course like I just did now. If I use the artillery hold, my shots seem to be going better. Last shot, guys. Go check it out. All right, guys. So I didn't do too bad. Look. One, two, three, maybe four, I think. You know, it's getting closer. The gun's more accurate at 20 yards than it was. I didn't notice the BB drifting through the wind as much. Maybe you guys can give me some insight on why that happens. Is it the aerodynamics of the BB? Is it because it's windy out here? What? Y'all let me know, but let's move up to 15 yards and do our last round of shots and have some fun. All right, guys, so I just ranged the target at 15 yards. The cool thing about the Halo XL450 is it gives you angle readings. So as I was reading 15 yards, I'm kind of on a slope in my parents' yard, and it was telling me negative 9 degrees down to that target, which is another great feature I really like about the Halo XL450 by wild game innovation if you guys get a chance check this thing out no i'm not sponsored by them i'm just a dude that lost his other range finder had to go online only had 50 bucks and bought this thing used it didn't come with the battery so i had to buy another battery so just to make sure that i'm at 15 yards we're gonna range it, it says 16 yards with a negative seven down slope angle on it this is fine with me i'm just out here shooting bb guns cock it open Give her a good pump. This is a noisy gun, but it's dead accurate close range. Safety off. Artillery hold. Try to hit bullseye. Come on, man. There we go. Took a minute to get the BBs in there. And that's the reason why I didn't want to bring pellets out here. The BBs were already unloaded in the gun. There we go. Come on now. She's getting low on BBs. So she's kind of not wanting to let them load, roll into the port ride. That's all right. I'm only going to do two more shots anyways. Last shot. Tomorrow is my birthday, June 3rd gonna be 91 degrees out here so I wanted to get out and make a video plus I'm gonna be kind of busy with birthday stuff tomorrow so let's go check out this target in this video look guys I got one in the bullseye right here and I'm leaping them all around the bullseye 
that's pretty accurate with open sights on a windy day, you know. Pretty good results. I'm happy with them. All right, so shooting at 100 yards didn't happen. Shooting at 56 yards did happen. Did I have the results I thought I'd have? No, but I had fun out here trying to challenge myself, y'all. I consider myself an air gunner. And any of you guys that watch these channels and like shoot air guns too, is an air gunner. And I'm gonna put a link to a video with Steve Kreiner, the dog soldier. And um, they're talking about what it means to be an air gunner. It was filmed like six years ago, you know. But just getting out here and challenging yourself all the time is why I make these videos. Um, I've got some more pellet um, outline reviews coming. I'm going to do some outdoor book reviews like the um, Blue Book of Air Guns. I've got that coming in the mail thanks to a good friend of mine, uh, November Girl 17. Thanks for uh, getting that for me. It's greatly appreciated. I love to look up, you know, facts about air guns and stuff. Um, she did ask me to do a how to put line on a fishing reel video. And I'm not really sure how to do that. But man, earlier I had a bug bite me right here. And uh, it itches. But y'all, it's hot out here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's a little different. I kind of went off the cuff and said, hey, I'm going to do this long range shooting video. Because I looked up videos on YouTube about how far can a BB gun shoot and they advertise 329 yards that's got to be an open field with no wind perfect conditions and great eyesight because I wear glasses but y'all like thank you for me for joining me on DG Outdoors in this edition and remember COVID's almost over but let's stay safe Jesus loves you don't steal the toilet paper wear a mask use hand sanitizer and I will see you guys on the next one